He's out there in the rain. He's out there in the sunshine. He's out there looking to find the best in movies and music. Our resident guru on all things movies and music, Barry Rushton. Another week, another dollar, Mr. B. Rushton. Jared, Jared, another week, another travel, back to the office and back again. And, you know, just stuff you do, you know. However, Jared, I did have a couple of days in Adelaide. Did you? I know, I know. My son's birthday. Yeah. And he's got a new grandchild called August. And I August. know, I know, I know, I sometimes... And the baby was born when? Yeah, well, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Augustus might be, but it's August. Lovely. We've never seen the baby. Yeah. But, um, and so we did. So we had a quick little trip to Adelaide and back. Um, and so I've had a little bit of time. But, gee whiz, I was on the plane, you know, and I'm a movie guy, you know. I, I like it. And I couldn't find a thing to watch. Can you believe that? And Barry, I... you have hit the nail on the head <laughs> for us baby boomers. <laughs> Honestly, you get in there... There's 350 uh, movies, movies to watch. Do you think you go through them all? There's not, no, not one, one decent not one. movie. And, and I guess, the same with Netflix, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Well, I'm glad you said that. And now people might say, yeah, because there's nothing to watch because you've seen them all. And that's yeah. not true. No, it's... And, and, and there's sections there that says new on board. Now, great. So oh. I go new on board and I'm going, this is terrible. Yeah. Uh, this is shot. Well, it's dreadful. But anyway, it's music today because yeah. I've got a new album here by Lindsay Buckingham and Christine McVie. Everybody knows they're part of the Fleetwood Mac yep. empire. And, and what a lot of people don't realise is that Christine McVie was one of more the original, it was a great shot that, mm. one of the more a, um, original members of the band. Remember she was, it was, it was, she? was yeah. Stevie Nicks and these two came later, later in the play. Johnny come lately. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> but they've become the more popular, more well-known anyway. Yeah, yeah. See, Christine McVie, as everybody knows, left um, Fleetwood Mac well, sort of way back in, at the about 16 years ago. Well, and then they, they rejoined again. She rejoined in about 2014. And so as they sort of got together, uh, Lindsay Buckingham and Chrissy McVie went back to the studio uh, that they recorded Tuscan, which is way back in 1979 they mm -hmm. recorded that one, just to see if there's any chemistry left, you know, any magic left yeah. in the fact that, you know, okay, some, it's like you, re, like me rejoining the calculated risk yeah, years ago. Yeah, I mean, yeah. do we get on with each other, you know? And they found they did, you see. And so they started writing a whole bunch of songs. They had a lot, she had songs, mm -hmm. he had songs, and they started putting them together and they suddenly thought, hey, there's not only, this is great, you know? Mm -hmm. And so they thought most most of these songs were going to end up as Fleetwood Mac songs. But then Stevie Nicks started, I think, started playing hardball. You know, she wasn't prepared to sort of drop her tour and she was promoting her own tour and, mm -hmm. and she was out on the road doing her own stuff. And they were waiting for her to get back and run these things through. And, and she was just taking forever. You know what it's like yeah. in LA, it just takes forever. And, and when they started to get the formula of these songs together, they brought in John McVie, which is your ex-husband. Yeah, yeah. They brought in Mick Fleetwood, you know, yeah. again. And they put the sort of the basis down. So most people might think this is a total Fleetwood. Just Mick, except uh, for Stevie Nicks. Except, but in actual fact, it's not. Uh. And this is where the difference is. This is a really a, a duet mm. album, you know, whereas we all know the Fl Mick Fleetwood sound, the Fleetwood Mac sound, mm. where they sort of hear these vocals and Stevie Nicks is out front mm. and then they all swing in. And now you've got Lindsay Buckingham who's compressed everything and sort of, yeah. you know, raunchy guitars and everything. And then you've got Christine McVie with that sort of openness that she has, you know. Mm. So there's a, di it's a Fleetwood Mac taint, taint. but a beautiful difference. I like it again a little bit is that because when I was listening to it first up I didn't actually have I was listening in the car so I wasn't 
I wasn't reading the <laughs> I wasn't reading the album cover, you know. What I mean? yeah, yeah. And I was trying to think, now who's playing on this, you know? And it wasn't immediately recognizable that Mick Fleetwood was playing drums. It just wasn't, you know, because normally he's you know, over the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally you'll hear him, you know. He's, he's aging he, though, Barry. He, <laughs> but he comes at it, you know, hundred miles an hour with, yeah, yeah, with Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. And so I was quite surprised when I actually got to Omaha and I flicked over and had a look, well, who is playing? Yeah. And there's only three of them, well, apart from Lindsay as well. And uh, the keyboard's done by a guy I can't remember. And then you've got John McVie on bass and, mm -hmm. and, and Nick Fleetwood. So even though you might think, gee, this is sort of like a, you know, a, a total copy of a Fleetwood Mac sound, it's not. There's, there's a breath of fresh air in here mm -hmm. and there is some interesting lyrics and there's interesting songs and it's actually quite good. So, you know... How will it go, Barry? Is it too late now for them? Are they, uh, are they past the use by date? As Fleetwood Mac as a band? Yeah, yeah. No. Absolutely no. not. You, you would think that they're now writing songs for, for their grandchildren to be listening yeah. to, to a certain degree, because yeah. they're all getting up in that age. Yeah. But you know, you compare, I mean, you, you can't compare them as they were the Stones, but you imagine the Stones out on the stage now, they just, they're rocking still, you yeah. know. Now, are these guys getting tired? Maybe, but is, this is not a tired album. This is mm. just an album of two people who got together and thought, hey, we've got yeah. some interesting songs. We've got a great blend of voices. Let's whack it out. It's been sitting around for a while. Mm. And, and, and they said, well, let's do it. And so it's out. And so I like it. And so the Fleetwood Mac people are going to like it. It's one of those kind of albums that I think you'll put on and then a month later you'll put on again mm. and then a month like later it. you'll do it again. You know what I mean? And you'll like it. So there it is. Very Fleetwood Mac. Wonderful. I mean, not Fleetwood Mac. Take that thing. Lindsay Take Buckingham, that back. Christine McVie. <laughs> See you next week. Sir. See you next week. See you next week.